What's up everyone, Paolo here. So welcome back to just another dang how-to channel. So on this video, we're gonna learn how to set up Git as a server. And first one we're gonna tackle is the local protocol. So why would you wanna run Git server? So if you wanna run your own repository locally or have it on internally on the network, this is uh, some of the benefits of doing it that way. Um, let's tackle the first protocol which is the local protocol um, so on my machine here I have a um, couple of folders I was using on the tutorial so I use git init um, to create this local repository as you can see they have some working files in them if I quickly unhide the directory here you would see there's a dot git folder as well which has the internals for git which makes the whole um, repository working so if you want to create a server a git server it would basically be a bare repository so what we call with bare repository is there would be no working directory in there it would just hold the configuration uh, for the repository for you so to get started uh, let's open up the terminal and I'm just gonna go git, git init, which is the same as when we want to initialize a new repository, but this time I'm gonna say bear. And I'm gonna give this a folder name named basics.git. So as you see, it said initialize empty git repository, and it created this one. And from here, you would see that it has the internals already. It's not the same as the normal uh, git repository so from here imagine this is where I'm serving my server on the git server on this machine which is file I could say um, I'll copy this which is the directory created I could go git clone ah, you broke the thing there but there you go git clone And the your the path for that um, bare repository that you just created, and let's give it a different name. Say YouTube Basics. As you would see, it would create that YouTube Basics uh, uh, repository, but this time it would be empty. So there would be a working tree here. This one has no working tree. So if we quickly go to that folder basics and I do a git remote v you would see that the origin is the actual git basics folder that we have so we could now again do a git pull and push on here so let's do that that I'm gonna create a file create a file I'm gonna add that file and do a commit initial commit and I'm gonna say git push origin master and that would push that on my remote repository which is actually locally found here so imagine you could uh, have your remote repository or, or on a volume or, or on the network and that should work fine so that's it for this tutorial. Um, watch out for my other videos where we try to configure uh, local host instead for serving our Git and also setting up SSH. Um, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you like it, thumbs down. Uh, cheers, bye for now. And subscribe to my YouTube channel.